Hello, thank you to be here for, for this quickie about leaflet. Uh, during this session, I, I have a few slides uh, about the context, and then I'll show you uh, some code to, to see leaflet in action. So, uh, my name is uh, Guillaume Soldera. I'm, um, I'm working at CRD, it's a French company, and on my daily basis, I'm working with different technologies, front end or back end technology. So, when we talk about the map on the web, uh, most of people think first about Google Maps. It's like that, okay. Uh, but recently, uh, Google um, has updated uh, its um, term of uh, service, and it uh, was not uh, very funny. Uh, now you, you must register your credit card, and uh, you need an API key, an API key to, to avoid uh, this screen. Uh, luckily, there is an alternative. When we talk about web map, we must talk about tiles. Tiles, it's a small square images, and as I said, map box, uh, when these uh, images uh, are placed side by side in order, it creates a map. This is a tile. Uh, it, um, there is one tile set for one zoom level. And you, you can see there is uh, some data um, uh, for a tile with uh, especially the zoom level and uh, y and x coordinate. And when you increase uh, your zoom level, you increase um, the number of tiles. A leaflet, uh, it's a JS library, it's open source, and it allows you to display a map. It's created in, in 2011, and the, last, um, the, and the last version was released in the last August. It's mobile friendly, it's very lightweight, um, with the... Um, it's built with OOP uh, paradigm, so you can uh, easily extend existing class to create your own components. And it's very simple and easy to use. So let me to show you. I have a simple HTML page with the right include, the CSS and JS file for, for leaflet, and a simple node HTML with a specific ID. And it's my file where I call. So to create a map, we just call the, this function, and we center the map on a, sp a specific point with a default zoom level. As you can see, there is no default background. There is no default layer. So just add it. A layer, it's uh, like this. A tile layer, it's like this. Uh, you have a new URL with the provider of, this, uh, of the tile, and we find the um, zoom and x and y coordinate. The R is for the retina screen. Uh, there is an attribution, attribution field. It's to, um, to give some credits to, to the provider. To add the layer to the map, we just call an add to method, and that's it. There is many layers. You can find many, many layers uh, on the web. So just um, you, you can try many, many uh, layers. Uh, be careful, some layers need uh, an API key. Uh, we have, uh, for example, this one, uh, and uh, this one, or this one. There is many, many providers. So just test it. OK. OK. As you can see, the information is not the same uh, depending on the layer. So when you choose your layer, choose the layer um, according to the information that you want to display to your users. You, you can um, switch between layers as a Google ma map, uh, the road and the satellite uh, layer. To do this, there is a control layer. Oh. Yes. When you have uh, two parameters, the layers and the overlay. And we'll explain the overlay in a few seconds. So we can add our layer like this. We try it and uh, this one. Oh, don't forget to add to the map. Oh, I have this one because I have this. And our default layer will be this one. OK, you can see on the top right, you can switch between the different layers. 
So I said uh, uh, overlay in the uh, uh, previous uh, seconds. Uh, you have tile layer which acts as an overlay. As an overlay, sorry. I found an overlay about about public transport. When uh, always uh, with a new URL, uh, tubation, and so on. So just add it. Oh, and when you choose it. Okay, it displays over the main layer. So when we have map, we often uh, display marker on the map. So just try it. A marker is just created by the marker builder method when you specific the point and you can specify the title and you can, uh, you can uh, bind the pop-up too. Like this, and we add the marker to the map. Okay. Hello, and that's it. You can, um, of course, uh, use your, your own icon to to create your marker. Let me to show you. So you can create an icon with your URL, size, and difference ensure. And uh, you use this icon when you uh, add your um, your marker, your, when you create your marker. In the same way, you can custom the pop-up. Uh, in the bind pop-up method, uh, you can um, set a simple uh, string or a HTML a string or a really um, existing HTML element. You can specify to a class to have more control to the style or your of your pop-up. And when well, it okay, wonderful marker, wow, beautiful pop up. So we can create marker, okay, cool. But with leaflet, we can draw a, a, anything. There is, a, for example, a circle. So, up, you center on a specific point with a radius. And uh, some style like uh, color red, okay, and okay, it's wonderful. So uh, you can uh, some you, you want sometimes um, group uh, different uh, elements on your map to uh, to display at the same time. So there is a layer group um, notion in the uh, in leaflet. So we create. A group for element about the station. Uh, up. This method take an array with um, different elements. These elements uh, must be extend the layer class. Yeah, so marker and cycle extend this class. So perfect. We move this and this. Just add it this group as an overlay and we can display this element at the same time and uh, mix different overlay uh, uh, um, when you want. Uh, we can draw two uh, polyline. This is a um, su succession of uh, chords uh, late long. So from a service called Navi Navicia, I retrieve uh, journeys between the station and the Kinepolis uh, in public transport. So I build a polyline with an array of, um, of la latitude and longitude. I specified some style. I, I bind the pop-up and I listen some uh, some some event to um, to uh, to update the style here. And I create a layer group with with all uh, all journeys. We can add, add sorry, the layer group to another layer group. Uh, sorry, missed. Yep. And we can see this different journey. So we have this one, we have this one, and this one is shorter than this one. And when we display the transfer, we can see this one follow the the tram line. So, okay, we have line, we have marker. We can um, display GeoJSON too. So, to do that, 
I retrieve some information always with the Navy Shell service. Um, I retrieve an isochron. An isochron is an area that uh, you can reach in a specific time. In this case, uh, it's an um, it's, uh, area that you can reach in the transport public. In public transport, sorry. So I build a GeoJSON with uh, data retrieved, a specific sound style, and I create a, a, a group. Up, uh, I add my group. Uh oh, yes. A. Okay. Oh. So we add it. Uh oh, oh, oh. It's better. So, okay. Uh, it's cool, but there is no legend, and it's not very um, practical and and use, uh, useful. So create the legend. To, to create a legend, you can create a control. So my snippet is here. You, when you create a control, you specify a specific position. And uh, you override the onAd method. And in this method, you, you describe the HTML element that you want to render in this, um, in this control. So to do that, Leaflet uh, give us uh, some helper. Here we can uh, we create a div element with um, different uh, information about the isochrons. Here uh, we, we can uh, create a layer group with um, this one and this one, because the control is not a layer. But we can listen to some, um, some event. Up. We can listen some event to, to add the legend when when we must. The add event, for example, and when this event is uh, fired, we add the legend to the map. Whoop. In the same way, when we remove, no, sorry. When we remove this layer, we remove the legend. OK, let's try it. OK, so I have my legend to, to explain the um, different area, uh, and that's it. OK, so uh, in I have two minutes. So I come back to the slide. When um, you, you have seen, you, you can do and draw every what you want on, the, on this map. Uh, you have uh, many layers, you can draw any shapes, you can add uh, some markers, some pop-ups, you can add tooltips too, and it's very easy to style your components. There is many plugins too. You can uh, cluster your marker, you can build some uh, heat map, yeah, you can uh, build a map uh, with a uh, time dimension, and we can too um, draw a route between two points with a specific uh, direction to, to follow as, um, as Google Map. Many, many users and a big company uh, use this, uh, this framework and this library, so um, it's your turn. Thank you for your attention. If you have any questions. <laughs>